Hey everyone, my name is Paula. Welcome to Relatively Refined. In today's video, my sisters Kathleen, Patty, and I will be sharing our June Thrift Find of the Month. We do this series every month, and at the end of the month, we share with you what we consider to be our best thrifted find of that month. So let me get started with my June thrift find of the month. So my thrift finds did not cost me anything. They were in a free box at the end of an estate sale. I went at the very end of the estate sale, like my sister Kathy has said before, it's the best time to go. I went just before it was ending and in a box, there were a bunch of stuff, things kind of thrown in there. And I started pawing through kind of, you know, seeing what I could find. And I could not believe it, but I found these two adorable little ceramic angels. These are both vintage. I'm going to put my glasses on for this. They are um, month angels. So this one is November. And she actually, her little um, halo is broken. I think that happened in the box because I found the piece of the halo and it's a clean break and I think I can just glue it back on there and it should be fine. But look at her sweet little face. And she is carrying a mum, which is the November flower. And she's supposed to have a little topaz right here on her bow, but that was missing and I could not find that in the box. But on the bottom, it says Japan, and then it says mums and topaz, which are the flower and the gemstone for the month of November. And then I also found July. And she is actually in perfect condition. Surprisingly, none of the little flower petals are broken. She still has her gemstone, both of her wings, and her little halo. And if you look on the bottom of her, it says water lily and ruby. And those are the flower and gemstone for the month of July. There's a little sticker on here and it says um, an enterprise exclusive Toronto, Canada. So that might have been the gift shop where this was purchased, but it's clearly marked um, Japan on the bottom. And I collect these little angels. I have a couple of other ones I'm just going to show you. Um, I found them at different times and and I don't pay very much for them. I know you can they can get spendy if you look on um, Etsy and so forth. But this is the Leo. This is a different kind of set. I think these were probably just birth, uh, not birth months. Um, what are those called? Astrological signs. So this is Leo. And this is also, this is marked Lefton on the bottom. I think, I don't know if you can see that. But she's in perfect shape as well. She has both her little angel, uh, little angels, her wings. And she's carrying a little, um, a pennant. She's very, very cute. She has a sweet little face. And then I have found one more. And this is the December angel. I love her as well. She's actually a candle holder. A little candle would fit right in there. And she's in perfect shape also. She says December down here. She's holding a little Christmas tree. She does have a little bit of paint loss right here on the side of her arm and on this side as well. But other than that, she's in perfect shape. And look at her sweet little face. So I was extremely excited to find the September and July angels. I would love to get an angel for every month. I don't mind if they are, you know, different sets, but I just think they are so precious. And that is my June thrift find of the month. Hi, this is Patty with June's thrift find of the month. And here it is June and I am wearing a fleece jacket. And that's because um, today it is June, it's June 19th. And it has been, all weekend it has been in the 40s. 
50s and today we made it into the 60s and I have been at a soccer tournament all weekend so I'm cold and so for June's thrift find of the month I'm actually wearing a fleece sweatshirt. Anyway, my thrift find of the month for June is this gorgeous Fostoria American Glass Company Rose Bowl. Isn't that exquisite? This is actually cut glass and uh, Fostoria American Glass Company is out of Ohio. And you can see the different geometric design, which is sort of the hallmark of the American pattern. And each of these facets is flat. The Fostoria Glass Company um, is from about the late um, 1800s and until the late 1900s making this America pattern. I think the America pattern um, was around like 1915 until um, the 80s. So that um, this pattern was popular. And I don't think this is particularly old, um, but if it's from the 80s, that's vintage, right? This unique small opening in a rose bowl makes it so that you can put a few flowers, not a lot, and create a beautiful centerpiece. So I find this is a great way to um, use up the surviving flowers of a bouquet when you maybe want something different from a bud vase. You absolutely love it. And I love that I can put very few flowers in and create a gorgeous um, bouquet and a very sweet accent to a nightstand or bedside table. My June find of the month are three vintage tablecloths. The first tablecloth is this grid of summer fruits and drinks. Um, it's a white background, crisp white linen with really bright, colorful images of berries and fruits and different drinks, um, all evoking just summer at its best. Um, the tablecloth has hardly a stain on it, and I got it for $12. The second one, also for $12, is this beautiful pink tablecloth um, with little roses, little red roses um, and rose buds on it. And along the bottom edging, there's a beautiful um, pattern to kind of break up just the roses and the pink. And the last tablecloth is this Southwestern themed, very bright colors and images of cactuses and um, pottery and very fun and colorful. So these three vintage tablecloths, each purchased for $12 at a thrift shop, are my June find of the month. <laughs>